I'm shooting my Freedom Arms Model 83 44 Magnum. It's the premier grade with a 7.5 inch barrel with the black Mike Carter grips. So it's a very accurate revolver, very strong. You shoot it a whole bunch. One of the things I love about Freedom Arms guns is they don't break. Um, I could wear out a, a Smith & Wesson or a Ruger in my normal practice, but I haven't worn these out yet. And so they're really worth the money. They're expensive and I'm not denying that, but they're really, really durable and really accurate. Bang! First shot! Second shot! Pow! Third shot! Now I'm going to stretch myself and try to hit that target on the hillside there. There's two of them up there. The one on the right is a 10 inch plate. And I practice against this quite often because lots of my shots, it seems to be on game animals or on hillsides. Just at the base? Yeah, you hit the stake, the post. Hundred and twenty yards. Ow, hit it again. Now I'm going to be shooting my in frame performance center three to seven magnum from Smith and Wesson. It's eight shot cylinder and one of my favorite all-time revolvers. First shot, right out of the gate, kapow. Pow! Another one. Shooting this uh, performance center, uh, 327 Magnum, and I was shooting Black Hills 38 Special, 158 grain 38 Special through it. There you have it, eight shots, eight head shots at about 30, 31 yards. Go. 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 Speed, like Rod Leatham says, it's violent. It's not smooth, it's violent. There's nothing smooth about the way I draw. I just go quick. I get my hand on my gun quick, and I shoot quick. It's not slow, it's fast, it's violent, it's quick. You have to be able to draw and shoot instantly. I've got two of these FN 5.7s. It's the only FN you can buy in California. I haven't shot it very much. But I brought it today because I haven't shot it very much.
change the angle. Pull. I'm going to shoot the right one first this time, okay? Ready? Pull. 